What's up guys, this is Ray, and in this video, I wanna show you how to rip an audio CD, not for your MP3, not to put it in your music library, but to use it as a reference track for your session. Some use a reference track when mixing, some don't, that's fine. But if you're using a reference track, you wanna get the highest quality possible. So if you only have the MP3, you wanna make sure it's the highest quality. But if you wanna step it up from an MP3, you wanna make sure you have the CD. That's the best possible quality that you can get. Reason, because it's not compressed. You don't wanna use compressed data. And again, if all you can get is the MP3, that's fine. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways you can do this. For this video, I'm using Pro Tools. Other DAWs have this function available as well. But if it doesn't, just stay tuned. I'm gonna use a third party program that will do the same thing. So as you can see, I already created a session and I called this CD Rip and it's at 44K. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to File, Import, or you can use the shortcut, Control Shift I. We're gonna click on Import Audio. You wanna locate your drive, your CD drive, which in this case, it's letter K, and we're gonna select the first track. So I'm gonna click that. Now it's asking me to choose a destination. I'm gonna keep it within the Pro Tools uh, Audio File folder, Use Current Folder. And as you can see, it's ripping the track. Now, we're just gonna have to wait for this process to finish. As you can see, it's a little faster now. Reason, it just takes the CD-ROM a second or two for it to kick in. All right, so once it's done ripping the audio, this window opens up here. Audio import options, new track, or to keep it in your clips list or your regions list if you're using an older version of Pro Tools. So you know what, let's just, Press OK on new track and check it out. That's the track that we just ripped, we imported. Now all you have to do is save and you can take out the CD, put the next one in and you can just keep importing uh, tracks for your reference. So let's say I wanted to do another track. Let's say I had another CD. I'm gonna use the same CD by the way. I'm gonna go back to drive K and I want track seven. Click track seven and let it do its thing. Same option, new track. Or you could have selected the clips or the regions window and then you could have just dragged it to the back of this one. And I should have done that, but you know what? That's fine. So let's just put it right here and I could get rid of this. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So this time I'm gonna select the clips window or the regions window or regions list. I don't remember what it was called. So we're gonna put it in the clips list. Press okay and nothing happened, but you have to come down here, open this window and check it out, track 10. So now I can drag it right here and now I have track 10. Pretty nice. So as you can see, it's very easy to do this with Pro Tools. If you have a DAW that doesn't have these capabilities, then I'm gonna show you another way to do this. Now, if you have Pro Tools, you don't necessarily wanna open Pro Tools every time just to do this. You can use another program. And this program that I'm gonna use is completely free. I've been using this since the beginning of its creation. It's an amazing program. With Pro Tools, you can select multiple tracks. With this, you can select multiple tracks as well. So if I wanna rip track one, three, and 10, I can do that, or I can select all. Now, let me remind you, you can do the same thing in Pro Tools. So once I select those, I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm gonna call it Audio Rip. And now, I'm gonna press this Wave option here, as you can see, Copy Select Tracks on Compressed. And I'm gonna select that folder that I just created, Audio Rip. My apologies for all the noise in the background. Like I said the other day in another video, there's some construction going on. There's nothing I can do about it. I just swapped mics. I'm using my 58. Hopefully that reduces all that noise. But as you can see, the process has started. Sometimes you gotta give it a second for the CD-ROM to kick in and just start doing uh, its process. And it depends on how fast your CD-ROM uh, spins. So I don't know if you guys heard that it made a beep and the beep is indicating that the process has completed and it gives you some information here. Right here in the status window, we would have seen the error. 
So we're going to press OK and check it out. More information there. And now we can close this. All right, so let's go and check out the folder that we created. And here we have the three tracks. Unfortunately, I cannot play any of these songs. Take my word for it. Everything works the way it's supposed to. It sounds the way it's supposed to. Check the file size. 70. 0.3 MB, which stands for megabytes. A normal MP3 rip will be about three to four megabytes. If you rip a couple of these tracks, it's gonna take up some space eventually. But nowadays with the amount of hard drive space that we have, it's nothing to really worry about. If this is the first time watching one of my videos, Subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. Don't forget to like. At the same time, check the description. There's gonna be some information there regarding the subject that we discuss. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.